uh, trip home was sort of an interesting time too. Uh, um, there were mostly there were ships that were going home that were out stationed out there, not needed anymore. But in our case, most of those had already gone home. <laughs> and uh, so, but they had an old um, Subtender One that was out of service, and, and they fixed it up as a uh, office building, just floating office building there in Hong Kong. And um, they, um, they built some more super stru structure on it, get more rooms and stuff, which made it kind of top heavy. And I only had one engine in it. But anyhow, that's what we got assigned to to go home in, right back across the Pacific. Um, by this time, even though it was only a, a lieutenant, I was a senior <laughs> visitor on the thing. Everybody else, all, more experienced people, had all gone home. So I got the board a pretty good arrangement. I got the boot room, uh, room within with the uh, uh, one of the chief operators on the on that ship. But the ship was very top heavy. And it would go and it'd roll and it would just kind of hang there and you weren't sure if it was going to come back or not and it'd go over the other way. And the entertainment, there was a ping pong table in there, which was interesting playing in a rolling sea. You, you shoot for the quarter there and it, <laughs> it may fade away and then it goes on. Uh, but, um, and then we break down. If you break down, there's no second engine. So you just sit, sit there and wallow in the sea until somebody gets it fixed and you get going again. So it took us well over a month to get home, but we finally got home to San Diego and uh, on our way to being discharged from the Navy. But it was quite a finale. <laughs> and uh, quite, a, quite an experience, I might say, for a young guy. How old were you? I was, uh, at that point, I was 26, I guess. It was funny. Uh, it, when I saw, you know, that, I went back looking for a job. G GE was committed to taking me back. I had been with them before the war, before I was in the war. Um, and these places would interview you, and you'd say, and you'd say well, I was, uh, you know, I was a lieutenant in the Navy. And, and that would kind of impress him. Well, heck, all you had to be there was be there long enough. Those are pretty much automatic, the first couple of levels. So they didn't really represent much of anything by itself. But then, you know, when I tell them I was assistant engineer of every cruiser or something, you know, that, and then they were, their jaws dropped down and uh, they said, they just shake their head and say, well, the Navy sure gave you young guys a lot of experience because in, in those big corporations at that time, if you weren't about 40 years old, you weren't considered ready for any real responsibility. So it was a great ex experience and uh, fortunately no, nobody shot my head off or anything. And, uh,